How offensive is it to have shoes on while standing on holy ground? You ever thought about that? There's parts in the Bible that the Lord is speaking and an angel is instructing one of the servants to take his shoes off because the ground that he's standing on is holy. So in our today's message, I want to talk about shoes and holy ground. And maybe by the end of the message, you may have to take your shoes off too. Your true purpose is in the mind of God. Today, get back everything the devil stole from you. Forge your sword. Sharpen your blade. What we are experiencing here, you can experience right there, right now. This is Spiritual Authority. And now, Bishop George Bloomer. God bless you. I'm Bishop George Bloomer, and welcome to Spiritual Authority. Today's program is going to be fantastic. It is going to be one of those programs that you're going to want to rewind and watch over and over again. Now, how can I say that to you before even ministering it? Because I saw something in the scriptures that I hadn't seen ever before. And I've been reading through the word of God for years, but God has put it on me for this moment, that second, to share with you a way that you can take the ground that is under your feet and really, really possess the land that he has sworn unto your forefathers, that you can walk out your spiritual walk with God with substance, abundance, and accumulation. It's all in the word of God. Now, while I'm talking, I'm giving you an opportunity to call a neighbor and call a friend because I want as many eyes on this message and ears to be in tune to it as we possibly can. And I'm starting off right away by telling you that I'm going to make an offer to you today that is going to change your life. The book that I'm offering today is Metamorphosis is going to take you 90 days, 90 days to spread your butterfly wings. And not everybody's going to get butterfly wings. Some are going to get wings of an eagle. Some is going to get wings of a dove. Nonetheless, you're going to fly over what you could not walk through. And then I want you to remember the name and the names of God that we're going to be offering to, and you're going to need to anoint yourself with oil because your mind is about to shift and change. Later on, I'm going to make those gifts available to you as I seed it into your life. Are you ready? Do you have something to write with? Are, are, are you preparing yourself for what is about to happen? Let's pray. Our gracious and kind God, today we ask that you would open up our mind and our understanding to know that all of creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Teach us today how to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And in this season, what did not work is going to work this time because of how we're going to stand in Jesus' name. Amen. You'll find me reading from uh, the New King James Version, and I'm going to minister a message to you today entitled, Take Your Shoes Off. Or some might say, Take Off Your Shoes. Whichever one you want to work with is fine with me. Joshua chapter number 5, verses 13 through 15. And it came to pass as, Jos as Joshua was uh, to go by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked and there stood a man against him with a sword already drawn. 
in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or art thou for our adversary? And the man said unto him, Nay, no, but as the captain of the host of the Lord, I am come. And Joshua fell down on his face to the earth and did worship. And he said unto him, What shall I do? And what shall you do unto or for your servant? And the captain of the Lord host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoes and take them off of thy feet. The place you're standing on is holy ground. I thought that was unbelievable. The Lord had given a prophecy that he was going to allow Joshua to go and take the, the city of Jericho. Jericho is the land of giants. We're going to have an opportunity to really, really talk to you about giants in the Bible and how they came about and what have you. But they're now occupying Jericho. Not much is growing in Jericho. And the cities, uh, it's a walled city and the city and the walls are very tall. The walls are so tall that the generals pop their chariots on top of the wall and Jericho is now uh, Joshua is now sent into the land to take the city and he has the wind of God blowing behind him he heard the voice of God he's past the dream and he gets to the gate of the city and there he sees a huge man that is standing there with his sword drawn the sword is in his hand he stops for a few moments to consider what he's seeing and he says these words are you for us or are you for our adversaries? And the servant, the angel, the master, the one that was holding the sword, looked at him and said this word, no. <laughs> I thought that was crazy. No. He said to him, we are not for you. We're not against you. We're not even here to take size. We're here to take over. And I come to tell you, that God has positioned you in a place where you can take over, but you only can do it if you heed the instructions of the captain of the host of God's army. He said, Joshua, if you would untie your shoes and slip off your shoes and turn them over to me and recognize this one thing, that the ground to which you stand on is holy, I can teach you how to take over this city. I'm saying to you, I want you to hear this, that it was the instructions of the angel of the Lord that he should submit his shoes. What does shoes mean? Well, shoes in the Hebrew tradition means authority and rights. And the angel says, if you can submit to me your authority and your rights, I can give you the city. I think before the program is over, there's a few of you that might need to consider simply standing back, unlacing, and taking off your shoe because the ground that you stand on is about to become holy. And not only that, it's about to become yours. Your world is about to change. You are about to walk into a position with God like you've never walked into it before. In God's word, Joshua was commanded to take off his shoes, a sign of submitting to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I come to tell you, it's a time for you to turn your entire life over to God. Bishop George Bloomer teaches you how to finally make Jesus not only Savior, but Lord in his groundbreaking Take Your Shoes Off package, including his book, Metamorphosis, 90 Days to a Total Mind Makeover. It's available for your C gift of $29.99. When you call toll free, write, visit our website, or use our new text to give option. Or for your C gift of $49.99, you will also receive the companion Metamorphosis message Bishop Bloomer preached on both DVD and CD. Plus, every order receives an anointed prayer cloth and vial of anointing oil as a point of contact for your breakthrough. So I say to the Lord, God, I take my shoe off 
and I surrender it to you. And when you sow a seed of $77 or more as God has prospered you, in addition to these resources, you will also proudly want to wear this beautiful Names of God pendant and chain as a symbol to the world of His Lordship in your life. Request yours today and get ready for your new victorious walk in God. Now, Bishop George Bloomer. All I've ever heard about taking your shoes off was the ground that you stand on is holy ground. I did not know that this was a part of a rite of passage or a, a, a way, way that you turn the power of attorney over to someone else. You know, I'm from Brooklyn. I don't know the Hebrew customs and so on and so forth, but I'm learning them. And I'm learning that not only did it work in the Bible days, but it works today. Uh, there's a story that is told to us in Ruth uh, chapter number four, verses seven through 10. And it is the story of uh, uh, Naomi and Ruth and they go into a city, you know, her, her son and her husband passed away. They were once rich and now they're poor and they find themselves in a part of the country where they're now gleaning corn and they're in Boaz land. They're in the land of Boaz, and Boaz is one of the richest men who is around. And while she's gleaming in the field and she's plucking the corn, the scripture says that she worked with the speed and the precision of seven men. This girl was bad. She was able to work the corn. While he was watching her work the corn, he got a glimpse of her face and he took to her and found favor with her and inquired about her to only find out that there was a gentleman that was in front of him and in order for him to marry her, he would have to uh, go in front of this young man who was in front of her. And so he approaches the young man and he says, do you like her? He said, yes. Would you like to marry her? He says, I would. She's a pretty girl. He says, well, you know, according to the customs, you have to buy her husband's land. You have to uh, settle all of her husband's debt. And he looked up and he says, I don't want to do that. I, I, I don't, I, I would love, I would love to drink the milk, but I don't want to purchase the cow. I do not want to do this. So many that are watching right now need to listen to this, that there are those that would like to hold you, but they don't want to have you. Uh, they would like to taste of you, but they do not want to cover you. And he says, I don't want to do it. And so Boaz said, well, you know what you need to do. I need you to sign this agreement. And the way he signed the agreement, the scriptures teach us that he got down and he took his shoe off and he passed his shoe over to, uh, to Boaz and the elders saw it and now it's official. The ground was not holy. The shoe was being passed in this season at this particular time according to the custom as a power of attorney. It was a contract, a contract. But it doesn't stop there. In, in, in Deuteronomy 25, uh, verse number uh, 7 through 10, there's another story that helps us to understand clearly. You know, in the book of Genesis, we read the story about how that uh, um, uh, Judah took a wife of Ur, his firstborn, who did evil in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord slew him. And then he said to his secondborn, uh, uh, you, come here, Onain, go and marry your brother's wife and raise up seed unto her. And uh, uh, he knew that the woman, that the child that he was um, uh, to uh, father was not going to be his, but rather was going to be raised as his brother's son. So he goes into her and at the time he withdraws and spills it and God is upset with him. And then the text says, the, uh, Judah goes to Tamar and says, uh, wait for my young son, Selah, that he would become a man and maybe you can obtain children or an inheritance that way. And he sent her back to dwell in her father's house. So there was a custom that was around that when um, you married a woman and you were to die, uh, um, your brother uh, would be the one would take up the rest of your marriage by marrying your widow and raising up his seed as though it was your seed. And that was the custom. So in Deuteronomy, we picked up right about there. And it says in verse number seven, and if the man uh, like not to take his brother's wife, would not take his brother's wife, then uh, um, let her brother's wife go to him and go to the gates where the elders are seated and say, my husband's brothers refuses to raise up his brother's seed in his name. Uh, 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 what shall we do? 
And the scripture says the elders then would go and call the man into the city and speak to him and say to him, you know, you don't want to raise up seed to your brother's uh, 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 wife, your brother's widow. What's your problem? And he says, I don't want to do it. The elders then instructs him to call the widow. When the widow comes, the scripture says that she shall unloose his shoes and spit in his face and uh, then say unto him, this deal is done and put the word out. Henceforth, anybody that mentions his name must associate him with the house of him that had his shoe loose. It was a rite of passage. It was a covenant. It was something that they did to honor or to dishonor. Now, I've, I've seen this many, many times over on how that in uh, some of the Muslim countries, when things go real, real bad, they'll take their shoe off and throw their shoe. When Saddam Hussein's statue was coming down, their boy was beaten on his head with his shoe. They released the shoes. When President uh, 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 um, Bush was uh, in the Middle East, someone took their shoe off and threw it at him. I never knew that shoes carried that level of authority, that the principle was directly associated with that. I did not understand in times past that the shoes covers up the feet and the feet hatabashata, is where the power is. For wheresoever the soles of your feet shall tread, it shall be yours. That God wants you to move that thin piece of leather that separates the earth from the flesh. You are about to walk into a position with God like you've never walked into it before. He even turns and he says to Peter, Peter, if I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. What does that mean? It simply means this. He can't wash his feet until he takes his shoes off. I come to tell you, it's a time for you to turn your entire life over to God by untying your lashes and removing your shoes and giving it to Jesus because the ground that you're getting ready to walk on is holy. Your world is about to change. You are about to walk into a position with God like you've never walked into it before. In God's word, Joshua was commanded to take off his shoes, a sign of submitting to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I come to tell you, it's a time for you to turn your entire life over to God. Bishop George Bloomer teaches you how to finally make Jesus not only Savior, but Lord in his groundbreaking Take Your Shoes Off package, including his book, Metamorphosis, 90 Days to a Total Mind Makeover. It's available for your seed gift of $29.99. When you call toll free, write, visit our website, or use our new text to give option. Or for your seed gift of $49.99, you will also receive the companion Metamorphosis message Bishop Bloomer preached on both DVD and CD. Plus, every order receives an anointed prayer cloth and vial of anointing oil as a point of contact for your breakthrough. So I say to the Lord, God, I take my shoe off and I surrender it to you. And when you sow a seed of $77 or more as God has prospered you, in addition to these resources, you will also proudly want to wear this beautiful Names of God pendant and chain as a symbol to the world of His Lordship in your life. Request yours today and get ready for your new victorious walk in God. Now, Bishop George Bloomer, my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Wonderful scripture, right? But what does it mean? Can he supply all of your need? Can he provide for you if you're not willing to submit yourself to him? For so many years, I thought that Moses was just kicking off his shoes because God was up in the mountain. I didn't know that it was the very mountain that God had desired to give to him as he would cover him from the air. What happens when you use your currency of your ego, your ego currency, where someone has always got to, uh, you know, uh, uh, flatter you and, 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 and pay homage to you and, and bow down to you? Uh, the Lord is saying, all I want you to do is to submit yourself and your ways to me. I never knew 
that shoes represented authority, that shoes had absolutely represented a person standing their ground, that shoes absolutely meant that uh, you're in control. Small wonder while John the Baptist said, uh, one is coming who is greater than I, whose shoelaces I'm not worthy to tie or even to untie. Why? Because he was not God and Jesus is Lord and he was coming that we might live and have life more abundantly. This message spoke to me and I pray that it speaks to you. In fact, throughout the entire message have I been speaking, I started off with my shoes on. But right there, about five minutes into the message, my feet started bothering me. And then I knew it was the Holy Spirit commanding me to take off my shoe. No matter how wonderful this shoe is, this is a piece of leather that stands between me and the ground that I am to possess. And I don't want anything in my way. So I say to the Lord, God, I take my shoe off and I surrender it to you. And there are those who are watching right now by television, by streaming, and you might wanna just stop for a few moments and say, Bishop, you're right. I have been just digging in on issues, on doctrinal issues, on, 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 on family. I, 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 I just have to be in control all the time. I break that curse in your life right now by asking you to take off your shoe. Did you not know that paying tithe is an act of taking off your shoe? Did you not know that um, forgiving a person when you're right and they're wrong is an act of taking off your shoe? Well, for the next 90 days, I want you to walk with me and walk it out as God is about to change your world. Our offer today is metamorphosis. 90 days, 90 days to a total mind makeover. For a faithful seed of $29.99, I wanna send this book to you. But I preached this message in totality and there's not enough time for me to give you the entire message. And so for those of you that were so a seed of $49.99, I'm going to send you the DVD and the CD along with the book so you can prepare yourself to turn your rights and your power over to God. But there's a few of you that really, really, really have taken this message. I want to sow this into your life, the names of God and the names of Christ. Something that you can keep with you, wear it around your neck to remind you as you're going through this season of metamorphosis along with the anointed bottle of oil. All of this, the total package for $77. And I know you're going to be blessed. Listen, the seed that you sow is going into a soil, the fertile soil of Bishop George Bloomer's ministry to help me preach this uncompromised gospel around the world. I had to take off my shoe. I had to realize that everything that I have and everything that I hope to be, it's all coming from God. I lay prostrated before the Lord today and I lay prostrated before you by telling you that your world is about to change. All of creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. And as I said in times past, according to the word of God, that wherever the soles of your feet shall stand, the very ground will alter its genetics in order to host you while you're there. Your broke days are coming to an end. Your days of lack are coming to an end. And you're going to win everything that you set your mind to do when you surrender your shoes, take off your shoes and stand on the ground that is going to be holy, holy thine and holy as unto you, you're going to walk out this walk of faith like never before. So $29.99 for the book, $49.99 for the book and the CD and the DVD and for your seed of $77. I'm gonna send you the entire package. That's the oil and the names of God along with the book and the CDs and a prayer cloth. Listen to me. 
I want you to get your bottle of oil that I have prayed over and I want you to anoint your head with oil cosmetically and then I want you to speak into the atmosphere that thing that you expect God to do. I know you can't smell what I smell, but the very aroma of the room just changed when I opened up the bottle of oil, and that's what's about to happen in your life. There's going to be a fragrance that is going to be released that is going to stamp out poverty, that's going to come against sickness, that's going to come against disease. This is your hour to take off your shoe and to recognize that the ground that you stand on is holy. Now, get up from where you are. Go to the phone and tell the counselor, the prayer warrior, the operator, I need this package in my life. Metamorphosis, your life is about to change. Go to the phone, call the number at the bottom of the screen. Bishop Bloomer told me to call, and I'll be back in a few moments to pray with you. Your world is about to change. You are about to walk into a position with God like you've never walked into it before. In God's word, Joshua was commanded to take off his shoes, a sign of submitting to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I come to tell you, it's a time for you to turn your entire life over to God. Bishop George Bloomer teaches you how to finally make Jesus not only Savior, but Lord in his groundbreaking Take Your Shoes Off package, including his book, Metamorphosis, 90 Days to a Total Mind Makeover. It's available for your seed gift of $29.99. When you call toll free, write, visit our website, or use our new text to give option. Or for your seed gift of $49.99, you will also receive the companion Metamorphosis message Bishop Bloomer preached on both DVD and CD. Plus, every order receives an anointed prayer cloth and vial of anointing oil as a point of contact for your breakthrough. So I say to the Lord, God, I take my shoe off and I surrender it to you. And when you sow a seed of $77 or more as God has prospered you, in addition to these resources, you will also proudly want to wear this beautiful Names of God pendant and chain as a symbol to the world of His Lordship in your life. Request yours today and get ready for your new victorious walk in God. Now, Bishop George Bloomer, I never like to leave a program without giving you an opportunity to come to Jesus. Lord, come into my life and forgive me of my sins and wash me in your blood. I want to be a Christian. If you prayed that prayer, welcome to the royal family. You just got born again. And I tell you, this is the greatest decision that you could or would have ever made in your entire life. Ah, I can't wait to see you again. Remember, call the number at the bottom of the screen. There will be someone that can help you find a church in your area. Get the products for today. It's going to bless your life. And I look forward to seeing you another time on Spiritual Authority. Remember, today is the beginning of the rest of your life starting 